Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game two of a best of three match between Todd and Remind or Yawn and Remind here on uh, Twisted Meadows. We do have an Ultra of Elders being put down and this whip should probably build an Ancient of War. Meanwhile, Todd is going a Barracks, not speed building his alt altar and it's probably because this is not Twisted Meadow, this is Turtle Rock. Um, yes, this is Turtle Rock, not Twisted Meadows. Um, I... I messed up there sorry about that anyways we um, taught this is a game two like I said earlier and um, and remind took game one so currently it's one zero so remind is in a do or die situation remind currently has an altar of elders being built ancient of war not too close to the, the the creep camp over here most likely just in case there is a close creep spawn the the militia would not be able to drag the aggro over to that ancient of war Todd most likely, I'm going to assume, is going to go an Archmage on this particular map. Archmage generally a, li a little bit more favored. Yes, we do have an Archmage coming in from Todd. Meanwhile, we have a, oh no, another Warden coming in from Remind. So Remind sticking to the Warden as opposed to going to Demon Hunter as um, wanting to go back to the original strat or and to not wanting to use a typical matchup right now. Sticking to the Warden even though he did lose game one. Militia now going to go ahead and head across the map trying to see if there is um if, trying to see if there is any um excuse me um, actually no he's gonna build a scout farm instead and um, i seem to be a little bit tongue-tied here so excuse me as i try to calm down speak slower and Players gather my composure we have an archer now drawing in some aggro from the giant sea turtles and the ancient of war is now going to go ahead and take that damage from the uh, f instead of having that archer take that damage, Warden is going to come out just in time as always. Meanwhile, the Archmage is a little bit behind. Not quite sure um, why the Archmage was a little bit slower than normal. We do have um, the militia now coming out. So, th is the are the militia going to try to creep out this merchant shop or this orange camp? He okay, um, Todd trying to creep out this orange camp and is going to use um, trying tr going to try to take down these ogre warriors right now. Ogre warriors. With an arch with a water elemental now trying to tank some of that damage, trying to pull himself a little bit to the back to try to stick around a little bit longer and continue to do damage, but is fall will fall to the um, trolls, forest trolls right now. But doesn't really matter. And the arch, the water elemental did do what it was supposed to do. Warden now, not quite sure why he did not try to, um, why she did not try to do any harassment in that particular creep camp. Perhaps thought it was a little bit too far. We do have two scout farms being placed by Todd to in order to keep track of what Todd is, or what Remind is doing. So Remind, um, Todd will not be playing in the dark at any point in this particular matchup. Todd now trying to f them take down a Wisp. No, that Wisp is going to go ahead and fall fall back. And Todd trying to now creep out these this turtle camp. And we do have the turtle camp now coming back into play. Remind trying to uh, detonate against that single water elemental, and we have a shadow strike on the archmage. Archmage now trying to run to the back of the base. It w will be able to uh, run to the back of the base, but unfortunately, just as nightfall approaches, so the archmage is going to fall. And the, will the warden be able to? Will the warden get stuck? Not sure. Oh, archmage gets the level two right as he falls. I think that was a little bit of a misplay. He did not want to get to level two. And that's a little bit uh, bad. Let's see if he's going to pick up the gauntlet. Yes, the Warden is able to pick up the gauntlet of Ogre Strength before he was able to um, destroy it. So Archmage is going to have to be resurrected, not at level 1, but at level 2. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem for uh, um, for Todd. So um, Remind playing, playing as though his tournament life depends on it. And is was able to go was able to take down that Archmage early and be able to get that get the early creep camp. No, we did have the um, Archmage now resurrected back at the tavern. So that Archmage only comes in with half hit points and no mana. That is going to be a little bit of a problem, but the Warden, it, now seeing that the Archmage is back in play, is going to try to take down that Archmage once more. Um, no blink on the Warden, so let's see if the Warden will be able to out um, to chase down that uh, Archmage. Archmage, yes, get caught around that corner just a little bit, and with that boot to speed, the Warden is faster than that Archmage, especially with that Shadow Strike on it. And Todd, Todd it may go down once more. And, May is trying to get stuck in the back of the base. No, is going to go ahead and once more pull back out. Huntresses are currently um, trying to run back out. Warden um, sold his scroll of town portal in, in order to buy a boot to speed and keep the pressure and the harassment on. Remind currently still at Tree of Life, not taking the Tree of Ages. 
So really investing a lot into this early fight. And we have Todd trying to up already upgrade to, to tier 2. Uh, thinking that he's going to have to counter Bears and Dryad soon. But unbeknownst to him, Remind is still in tier 1. And is massing a lot of units. Uh, currently Todd's sitting at 30 over 36. While Remind is sitting at 33 over 40. But there's a lot more Huntresses. And, and the unit combination I think is just better for... Um, for a remind right now, but we do have a guard tower in play and that guard tower is gonna once again push back those huntresses once more Warden currently sitting at level two still hmm. Archmage Archmage picks up a dust of appearance and now also building an arcane vault in order to try to heal himself Not really much going on this so to speak right now Remind is now trying to take down some additional creep camps or trying to creep down this um, this giant sea turtle camp using that ancient of war to really tank a lot of that damage especially from that giant sea turtle that giant sea turtle of uh, those huntresses you know go ahead and rejoin the fight now switching back over gonna take down that giant sea turtle that ancient of war should probably be trying to eat that tree in order to regenerate a little bit more hit points may lose that tree if he's not careful militia is gonna come in and spot this we do have an ancient of protector and ancient of wonders coming in do not i do not see an ancient uh, a, a tree of life yet so not quite sure what's happening there and Giant Sea Turtle goes down level 3 Shadow and um, level 3 Warden with a level 2 Shadow Strike is going to be coming into the mix relatively shortly. Archmage now wants to try to... Um, Archmage once again wants to try to get in a, an expansion up and running. Going to bring over 5 Militia, 6 Militia in order to try to get this expansion and in Remind expecting this is trying to see uh, will be able to catch uh, Todd and be able to creep jack him. Now Remind coming in and doing some additional damage as Todd is fo is forced to be focusing down the main uh, the what is left over here. And we do have the warding going to come in and probably get a shadow strike. No, no shadow strike on these units. A shadow strike on a footman instead. Down goes one. Down goes a footman and uh, over here back at the main base units and and. All the peasants going back as well. Warden currently sitting at level three does have a wand of mana stealing, while the archmage is current does picked up a sobi mask and is now pushing back out. And Todd says GG, knowing that he's just too far behind. So uh, Todd Remind taking the second game. Stay tuned for part three and the final game between Todd and Re or Todd and Remind here from the Shadow League tournament or Trophy of Legends tournament.